Hey, hello. I'm Akihiro Castell. Uh, so I'm a Nagoka University uh, technology student. Uh, yes, I would, today I'd like to take about the <coughs> improved text simplification by compass expansion, which is inspired by the learning. <coughs> hey. I'm going to divide my presentation into six parts. Uh, first, introduction, second, the set, and method, experimental design, result, uh, finally, conclusion. <coughs> and so, I would like to take about, <coughs> uh, our, about introduction. Um, uh, in general, simplification tasks that reduce the complexity on text for prefacing the meaning. <coughs> and so, the simplicity of our text is determined by various factors. Oh. Uh, in our test case, so when our text is given to the system, we want to reproduce the meaning of a sentence using only the core vocabulary. So uh, we call those 2,000 words the core vocabulary. Uh, therefore, we focus on the uh, vocabulary com compression as a part of simplification. <coughs> Uh, therefore, simplicity is uh, uh, determined by uh, with, uh, our text contains uh, words <coughs> other than core vocabulary. Uh, so, in next slide, I introduce that what you, we used. Uh, so, uh, we used a manual corpus uh, that continues the follow was an experiment uh, that total is 85,000 sentence. <coughs> and so, Snow T15 uh, is the first Japanese finishing purification corpus, which students simplified uh, 50,000 sentence. <coughs> and so, uh, two, uh, two thousand words were determined at the same time that this corpus was built. <coughs> uh, so, uh, Snow T223 uh, is a corpus built by uh, requesting the same operating in crowdsourcing. <coughs> Uh, next, the other we use Nihon Web Corpus as uh, Sudo cop Corpus. <coughs> and WC is a large scale one ringer corpus collected from web page. And we constructed Sudo Corpus using this corpus as it is cleaned. <coughs> and I'll show you how to build the uh, related. Uh, so, uh, next, uh, about method. To find the data translate task, we need a corpus with each the source and target size. <coughs> you know, we check the words in a sentence for classify it to simple and complex mm, uh, construct a uh, simplified corpus by collecting sentences that uh, do not contain complex words from NWC and constructed complex corpus uh, by correcting sentence uh, containing complex words. <coughs> uh, so, uh, about uh, machine translation approach, we use uh, USMT as 
an unsupervised approach. USMT has performed very rare on unsupervised translation tasks. I'm going to take over the running method <coughs> of USMT. Uh, at first, the system ran the word and being each language. Uh, and that embedding are uh, integrated into a single vector space by cross linker mapping. <coughs> then the first phrase table is created by map, the map embedding. <coughs> and next, next the uh, generalization performance is improved by uh, iterative tuning target to source and source and target model alternated alternatively. So we run USMT using complex and simplified corpus as inputs in this example uh, experiment. The rest of the process is performed in the same way. <coughs> Next slide about experiment design. Uh, so uh, we use this set. The manual corpus was divided as shown in the table uh, for evaluation. <coughs> uh, as you can see following the table, the uh, vocabulary third in simplified version. Uh, excuse. Uh, mm -hmm. S is to sudden. Uh, the reason is that name entity are not subject to check <coughs> in task. <coughs> uh, so we use three metrics for evaluation. <coughs> uh, has a concrete. Uh, correlation with fluency and meaning privatization. And Sari has a uh, correlation with simplicity. And so, vocabulary is calculated to see perf the performance of vocabulary compression. <coughs> and now, next. Uh, in slides, I want to be very talking about experiment method. Uh, first, examining the performance of USMT. Uh, for that, the comparing compare target baseline and supervised approach, uh, which is uh, SMT and transformer as. Uh, supervised approach. <coughs> uh, baseline is when the system makes no change to the input sentence. <coughs> so, and uh, the next experiment in, in investigates the usefulness of the uh, pseudo corpus. Uh, we repaired uh, the copper of multiple scale in the advance. <coughs> and the maximum scale is set to uh, 50 mi million sentences for the convenience of the computer. The experiment is condition and the flow going to condition. Mm. Uh, the experiment is conducted. <coughs> so, in, in result, so now I'd like to show you data uh, from compare uh, uh, this line. We found that unsupervised exceeds <coughs> blue and sorry scope. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, USMT score excludes uh, baseline score. 
So it just means that it's possible to construct the unsupervised model. <coughs> and our next experiment, I introduced that for the experiment using only uh, use the corpus. The scale of the corpus is greatly related to accuracy. Looking at, <coughs> uh, looking at the vocabulary, the larger the scale, the smaller the number of uh, uh, vocabulary size. So you uh, can see that the expand of the data promotes more paraphrase. <coughs> so, okay. so the foreign show the result of adding uh, adding uh, pseudo corpus to the manual corpus. Uh, also there is no improved in blue score by expanded size and the, but the vocabulary show that is it on a uh, uh, downward trend. So just like the pre uh, previous result. So uh, I like conclude by making the following points. We constructed a uh, set of copper and uh, investigate the impact impact by expand corpus <coughs> now the result trying to show the two things below <coughs> uh, it, uh, it shows that simplification is possible only with seed corpus and adding copper Acid uh, corpus to uh, manual corpus can encourage more aggressive paraphrase. Uh, thank you.